This video will show you how to clean the carburetor in your Champion generator or inverter. Each carburetor looks slightly different, but regardless of your unit, your carburetor needs to stay clean to keep your engine running well. Search your model number on our YouTube page to find the carburetor replacement video for your specific unit and follow those steps to remove your carburetor. Before beginning, turn off the fuel valve and locate the fuel drain bolt on the bottom of your carburetor. This may look slightly different depending on your unit. Remove the drain bolt to drain the fuel from your carburetor into an approved container, be prepared to clean up any spilled fuel, and replace the drain bolt when finished. Step 1. With your carburetor removed, start by cleaning the outside as best you can. Use compressed air and carburetor cleaner if available to remove all gunk and grime from the outside of the carburetor. Lay down a towel or rag and be prepared to clean up any spilled fuel or debris as you disassemble the carburetor. Step 2. You need to remove the float bowl from the bottom of your carburetor. Your unit may have a solenoid mounted on the bottom. Note the orientation of the solenoid wire and drain bolt for when you reassemble your unit. Remove the solenoid with the appropriate hardware for your unit. There will be a bolt at the bottom of the carburetor that is holding on the float bowl. Remove it with the appropriate socket or wrench and remove the float bolt. If your unit does have a solenoid, this bolt needs to be cleaned. Use a small wire, carb cleaner, and compressed air to clean any gunk out of every hole and the center passageway on this bolt. Use a cotton swab and carb cleaner to clean the shutoff pin on the solenoid. Step 3. Use carb cleaner and compressed air to deep clean your float bowl. Use a screwdriver or similar tool if needed to scrape out any tough sediment or rust Scrub with a brush, and make sure the bowl is as clean as you can get it. Step 4. Locate the float pin, and slide it out to remove the float. Spray carb cleaner onto a cotton swab, and use this to remove any debris or buildup inside the float needle seat. You can also use this to clean the rubber tip of the float needle. Step 5. For most units, the main jet is located inside the center post. Use a flathead screwdriver, and while making sure not to strip the jet, carefully loosen and remove it from the carburetor. Your main jet may be located on the side of the center post. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove it. If your main jet is on the side of the post, the main nozzle is fixed and cannot be removed. For all other units, the main nozzle should be removed. If it's stuck in place with some gunk, open up the choke and you will see the top of the nozzle. Use a flathead screwdriver and carefully pry it loose so it falls out of the center post. Step 6. Take your main nozzle and use a thin strand of wire to clean out each hole on the nozzle, followed by carb cleaner and compressed air. Make sure that each hole on the nozzle is completely clear, including the main passage down the center. Repeat this process on your main jet. Step 7. Locate the pilot jet which will either be beneath a black Phillips screw or a silver capture plate on the side of your carburetor. Now look on the choke side of your carburetor and locate the hole that leads to the pilot jet. Spray through this passageway with carb cleaner to clean out your pilot jet. If you flip around the carburetor, you should see carb spray coming out of a set of small holes in the Venturi. Spray carb cleaner through the hole opposite this passageway as well. Step 8. Loosen and remove the black Phillips screw or capture plate and use a pair of needle nose pliers to fully remove the pilot jet. Use a thin strand of wire, carb cleaner, and compressed air to clean out the jet passageway. Then spray carb cleaner down the hole beneath where the pilot jet sits. This will clean out the passage that connects to the center post. Now follow these steps to reassemble your carburetor. Replace the pilot jet and make sure the hole in the jet is in line with the passageway, and tighten the capture plate or black Phillips screw only enough so the pilot jet is secure in place. Replace the main nozzle into the center post first, in the correct orientation, followed by the main jet, and secure the main jet with a flathead screwdriver, but make sure not to over tighten. If the float needle has fallen off, place it onto the tab and carefully insert it into the needle seat as you replace the float, and insert the pin to hold it in place. Make sure the o-ring is in place, and replace the float bowl in the correct orientation and tighten the bolt on the base of the carburetor. If your unit has a solenoid, replace it as well. Then follow the steps in your unit's carburetor replacement video to reinstall the carburetor on your unit. Make sure you read the safety guidelines in your operator's manual, and for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.